Our mission is to improve the lives of patients every day well beyond the medications that we provide. So let me give you just a couple of examples so you get a sense of what UCB is committed to. We conducted an RA Home Improvement Day partnering with the Arthritis Foundation, Home Depot, and OXO Good Grips. We went into the homes of patients who were suffering from rheumatoid arthritis and we helped to change light switches, door handles, shower heads, anything that would allow patients to be more effective in their own homes. We also have a program called the Kepi Dog Program. Have any of you heard of the Kepi Dog Program? I see a couple of heads nodding. I see somebody in the back over there. The Kepi Dog Program is a program where our employees raise dogs and provide them free of charge to patients with, with epilepsy. These dogs are trained to go out and get help for a patient because they recognize the symptoms of an oncoming epileptic seizure. Some pretty amazing things that our employees are doing because it really is important to us that we understand patients and have a relationship with those patients beyond just our medications. We also have a tremendous scholarship program. That scholarship program is not geared to just people who have a condition such as rheumatoid arthritis or epilepsy. It's also available to their family members, many of whom have sacrificed a lot and in fact have had to put their educations on hold, unable to achieve their dreams. We want them to be able to achieve their dreams and live full and productive lives. And so we have a tremendous scholarship program that is available to these individuals. In addition, we've created a number of patient uh, social networks, which I'm sure many of you have as well. And we also partnered with a company that I'm sure many of you are familiar with. How many of you have heard of OXO Good Grips? Probably at least half the room. OXO Good Grips is a company that is focused on universal design. And specifically, we asked OXO Good Grips to develop a syringe for an arthritic hand that would allow a patient to be able to self-inject comfortably. And it was a really unique undertaking because you usually don't see a combination partnership between a pharma company and a kitchen device company. So when we say that we put the patients at the center of everything we do, we put our money where our mouth is. We also, in fact, developed a website called Help Pay RA. Help Pay RA is a website that helps patients who have rheumatoid arthritis find financing for their medications all in one location. So this particular website lists all of the federal government programs, the state programs, the grant programs, and the patient assistance programs in one location. So if we're going to talk about relationship marketing, it is important to realize that it is far beyond your medication. It's about understanding patients, what their needs are, and what the insights are that you can use to build a long-term engagement with them. So let's talk about patient engagement. Patient engagement is not just about a name on a database. It's not a profile. It's not a point in time. What it is, is understanding a patient over time as they evolve, because they're constantly changing. They have different treatment experiences. They have different medications that they may have used. Their knowledge and their experiences are changing and growing every day. So it's about listening and learning to the patients, learning from the patients over time. And it's about learning from them in a way that allows you to optimize and improve all of your interactions as patients are evolving so that you can evolve along with them. So what does it mean to build a breakthrough relationship program? Well, it starts with business intelligence. You heard that from Brian earlier this morning. And business intelligence is really the key because that business intelligence is really the synthesis of all the touch points 
of a patient over time. And it's important to have all the in right ingredients when you are building your relationship marketing program. It's kind of like baking a cake. When you're baking that cake, you have to have not only all the right ingredients, but you have to put them all in in the right order, and you need to pay attention to the details to make sure you get it just right. So what does it start with? Well, it starts with having the right objectives. Do you have clearly defined business objectives? Do you have an expert panel of partners that can help you develop this program and pull through your insights through each and every channel? Do you have financially driven business cases so that you clearly can account for each of your investment spends? And do you have a well-defined relationship marketing strategy that includes not only your acquisition strategy, but also your engagement strategy? And probably most commonly overlooked, but one of the most important things you can be doing, do you have an ongoing learning plan one that allows you to engage with patients in an iterative, ongoing fashion so that you can evolve with them. And don't forget about the data. It's important to have the data and the business intelligence that informs each and every one of your strategies and your partners. So with that, let's talk about defining objectives. Because there's a level of accountability that comes from defining your objectives. When I say a level of accountability, how many of you have been asked, what's the value of a patient on your database? I know I have been many, many times. Not only that, I need to know the impact and the return that I'm going to get for every dollar I invest to get somebody onto my database. So it's important to have financially grounded business cases that allow you to identify your targets, your segments, your lead generation plan, as well as your right-timed contact strategy. Those business cases are the foundation of everything we do. And it is really critical to have a, a platform, a technology platform or campaign manager that allows you to have the appropriate business rules in place as well as have the infrastructure in place to be able to know how to leverage your business intelligence. Because by doing that, you will get better data, you'll be able to take smarter actions, you'll have richer insights, and also you will be as efficient as possible. And in this day and age, that's critical. So let's talk about all of the partners that you want to have. Like I said, when you're baking a cake, you've got to have all the right cooks in the kitchen. I would venture to say that most everybody here has an awesome agency of record that you work with. You've got a rock solid digital agency, and you have a great market research team. Am I correct? But the two ingredients that most often are missing are having a great relationship marketing partner and having an ongoing dialogue with patients that allows you to listen and learn from them in an iterative fashion. So when I talk about having a relationship mar marketing partner, what am I referring to? Well, your relationship marketing partner, and ours is Target Base, has to be a company that is committed to taking all of your patient touch points synthesizing all of the business intelligence and allowing you to pull it through each of your channels. Your creative organization that does your offline, your digital agency, as well as any other partners that you are working with. It's the business intelligence and being able to synthesize it and also having the campaign management platform underneath that gives you actionable data that is most important. And on top of that, you really need to have an ongoing learning, lab, um, learning laboratory. But more about that in just a minute.